what a couple weeks ago the dude uh trap city carter was that like two weeks or a week ago not two weeks ago legal like two weeks just ago. not posting it that's weird but yeah two weeks yeah ago. nobody posted that much right exactly yeah but no. yeah man so the dude trap city carter um he was shot and killed um and then what over the weekend he had his funeral and it looked like somebody rolled through there and shot up the funeral and killed his sister crazy work r.i.p yeah. that young beautiful lady man yeah r.i.p baddie man um yeah i thought that shit was weak as hell man shout out to my nigga fat smack because fat smack one of the originators of drill uh drill city all that you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. i think he from drill city uh yeah. but he basically was like these young dudes is gonna give points for that mm -hmm. and, and, and she was a civilian she was a woman we supposed to protect our women and our children for if sure. we're gonna be out here in these streets fucking it up we supposed yeah. to protect the women the children the older people not really supposed to bring that into the into the fray so it's crazy that the dude you know what i'm saying trap city uh carter his sister being killed somewhat it's like they got some get back is that part of they get back is that part of the bloodhound get back uh uh for 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 little jeff i heard so right now it's kind of it, it, it's looking like it it's so obvious but when you really look, go back and just listen to what little jeff used to say all the time he said we don't kill innocents no civilians and shit like that but then it seemed like towards the end of his life he started saying if i really want you that bad mama's a star dying it don't really get go everything go out the window when they really want you that bad so i don't want to sit up here and say it was get back for little jeff but who else is they really beefing with we know they got ops but who else would want them that bad like little jeff said towards the end of his life where they'll go ahead crash out and take whoever you related to with them right i just think it was crazy that i mean you killed the dude you know what i'm saying and we're gonna get to trap city rob because he was recently arrested did they release him so I heard it was for armed habitual. It was so too many conflicted reports going on that he was there at the funeral recession, which he probably was. But then it was also reported that he was locked up before the funeral even started. So for a fact, he caught that armed habitual, which carries six to thirty. Right. Yeah, that's crazy. I saw that. So I saw the. I'm gonna drop it, but I had saw that November first, mm -hmm. he was arrested. So that was what Saturday. Friday. Friday. So he actually. So wasn't the funeral Saturday? I feel like it was, and you know, it, you know the way that Chicago Chicago mug shot shit worked. They post your mug shot three days after you got booked. So Rob was pretty booked, probably damn near booked since Halloween type shit. Yeah, like I don't think he made it to the funeral. Me um neither. Also, like you said, it definitely say on habitual, but if you check that case number, mm -hmm. it also say first degree murder. So what? some people was yeah, I, I'm a I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna send it to you, but um, so that was kind of the big news to me. That's why I hit you up. Uh, the dude that's, trap city that's, that's news to me that's first degree murder yeah the dude trap city rob was arrested uh november 1st they charged him with an armed habitual and if you look at that case number that case number is also attached to a first degree murder charge from back in june so oh my god sure they ain't never just book him i thought he beat that shit they it, so yeah i know they they arrested him they they you know he was questioned that day i believe when everything happened with little jeff um it kind of been quiet but then there's been some bodies dropping recently yeah so i don't know if that's what caused them i don't know if him trying to do the rap thing caused the police but either way if if you check november 1st and i'm gonna I'm put it up on the screen whatever but if you check november 1st yeah. and you and you see he did get charged with an armed habitual but also there's a charge of first degree murder attached to that same exact case number damn yeah, yeah so i don't know if they bringing that back i don't know what's going on but the boy trap city rob uh look like he gonna have some like legal problems off of that bloodhound little jeff situation that's ridiculous man now i know there's so much a lot of shit going on on the internet with motherfuckers dissing people who work with their ops as well as people drawing a line in the sand when it come with people working with their ops but i feel bad for everybody involved in this situation because at the end of the day Rob was just protecting his area, and Lil Jeff and them was just doing what they unfortunately wanted to do, which was slide and kill. So I just, it's just one of those things where you look at like how could it have been prevented, and it's it can't be. It's just part of that circle of violence. But the fact that he locked up for self defense, 
right there showed me that they sat back, let him free, built, got it, they evidence, you feel me? Because he was hit with a, what, a Draco, they say? They yeah. They said shot with a Draco. We already know that for a fact, that's illegal in Chicago. You know, that's fair right. time. That's fair time through the dough. So they probably had to sit back and gather different shit to see how could they charge him and make that shit stick. Because if they locked him up right then and there, all the evidence they probably would have got mutual court. combat. Exactly. He would have got free. So they had to build up that evidence to get something to stick. Wow. Now, this is my question for you, because I know you 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 have communicated with them. You interview your interview went viral with Trap City Tarot and Rob and OTF Black. Do you Something think else. some of the recent social media posts that Rob been making? Because at first, when everything first happened, bro, it was kind of quiet the way it's supposed to be. Recently, the dude Rob have been dissing, talking about Buddy called 19. He been saying a lot of things on social media. I'm pretty sure it got to do with, you know, his friend dying and a lot of other stuff going on. But do you think that maybe those social media posts could have had something to do with the police saying, well, look, we could use this and this and this to show what he was on. So I always throw this back out there like this too, bro. Um, when I interviewed Chicago Real News, he let me know through the dough. Police reached out to him. They was communicating for a year and a half. Police know what's going on on this internet, the social medias, and this YouTube shit. Even with bloggers. They watching us, bro. We got to be right. careful. Now, fast forward to um, the interview that I did with Trap City. I spoke out to them and I congratulated them for how they carried themselves for like not over dissing. You know, they didn't, they was making little subliminal movements and shit, but nobody came out outright and dissed Jeff. Trap City Rob was talking like he had a lot of smarts to him. Like he ready to try to look and do some other type of venues. And, I mean, vineyards and shit like that, bro. And then people on Reddit in the comment section was applauding that man for how professional he was. Then out the blue, I just started seeing them hit the ground imitating how Jeff how he died I just seen them like you know dissing a lot and of course they probably feel as if this is their way of defending themselves you know how STL had to do against O-Block yep. it's kind of repeating itself with Bloodhound in Trap City but the one thing that they said I was like how, how, is y'all going to capitalize on this moment I'm like, I, all publicity ain't good publicity but it's publicity is y'all going to get to like act what y'all going to do they said this was the route they wasn't going to take and right. now I'm a firm believer. I shout out Justin, the producer. We was talking today about spiritual beliefs and shit like that. The power of the tongue. Karma. Shit like that I always believe in, bro. So when you already took the W, find a way to make money off of it and be respectful. But the way he trolled, not I don't want to say him, but the way the situation played out, it's kind of it's like kind of like they did it to themselves. Now, I don't know if the police could use just the taunting that they did as evidence. Like, how look, judge. See, they, they hitting the ground because they never really came out and Rob never really admitted that he did that. Right. Rob never said that verbatim out of his mouth. We just know. So I don't know if they could use certain things like that for evidence, but I know for a fact that's karma. Yeah, bro. So one thing I noticed with Rob, and I was going to come out and say it, I noticed that he was trying to do something with the music. I, that's, I actually reached out to him on that. So selling maybe, shirts too. Right. Maybe about a month ago, I reached out to Rob. Um, I saw he had some new songs out and I actually really liked one of the songs. So I hit him up like, yo, I like the music. I like how you like what you said. I like how you not over, you not over whooping with the shit. You know what I'm saying? You really playing it more real. Uh, if that really happened, you really taking it serious. And I like that he was trying to transition to the music. So I reached out to Rob. I, I, I shared a couple of his songs. I talked to him on the phone. Sadly, it was the exact same day that Carter got killed. Damn. Like he called me that morning. I talked to him about 30, 40 minutes. And then probably a few hours later, uh, the dude Trap City Carter got killed. So I ain't really talked to him after that. I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, he ain't. You know how that shit be, bro. Like motherfuckers don't got time for meet new motherfuckers in the middle of bullshit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So I, I understood that. But I, I saw it the same way you saw it, which is bro was trying to do something most serious and he wasn't trying to get on the internet trolling. But then he yeah. started internet troll. Like maybe work. about a week ago, by a week or two ago, I, I, I was watching his stories and he never really posted on his real thing. But on the stories, bro, he was mm. definitely internet trolling. Um, But yeah, nah, man, hey, man, free the nigga Rob, free mm -hmm. all the guys, man. You know what I'm saying? I just... 